everybody to today's vlog and uh, to the Dangle Cave and Workshop in here. I have been doing some work. This area is coming along and I want to start this video out with something I built over the weekend. I want to show you guys and you let me know if you want to see a, a video, an extended video on it because I need to build another one and I think, I think a lot of you out there could probably use one of these. I built a line respooling station. What this allows me to do is put all of my categories of line, like this one's for fluorocarbon, built it for six all the way up to 25. I can spool it through here, which there is a removable felt padded uh, little guard right there. This is mostly Guggen Squad fluorocarbon right here, and I've got some of them still in the boxes. If you want to leave them in the boxes, a lot of uh, a lot of companies do this now, where they have like the hole in the side. Ours uh, ours fits perfectly right in there, and then you can spool it through the actual box itself, and it's labeled, you know, so you know what you're dealing with. It's 15 pound. Pretty nifty little deal there. So if y'all want to check that out. Um, let me know in the comments. And in travel news, I am actually leaving today, y'all. I'm heading up to the Great Lakes, hoping to break my PB smallmouth, which is still five and a half pounds, been caught in Texas. When I was probably like 17 years old, I've been up to Canada many times, uh, catching tons of smallmouth up there, love it up there, but they don't have those juicy big wads like some of the Great Lakes have. So one of our partners that we work with, Bass Mafia, one of the owners of the company, he invited uh, me and uh, Matt and some of the other guys to go up there, but everybody else is off doing other things right now. So it's really just me and Matt that are going. He's talking about potential high sixes, maybe even a seven pound smallie. What? Think about that, y'all. I mean, my PB is five and a half pounds most state records are like around the nine pound-ish. And then I think the world record's 11 pounds out of Day Hollow, Tennessee. I think that's still holding. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break it, but we're gonna see. There's a real specific bite that's going on. So we're gonna be taking some of the, uh, some of the Guggen baits that I use a lot less of, some of the finesse stuff, because I'm down here in Texas right now. We're using a lot of big worms, big creature baits, things like that. Don't really dabble in the finesse stuff as much, especially uh, in the summertime. We're gonna be taking baits like this, like the Rattle and Ned, and some other finesse type baits up there, and seeing what they can do on some small mouths. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And other building news, what I've got going on in here, uh, building a drill press table. The drill press is new. Uh, it's a really nifty device for drilling 90 degree perfect. You can also do a lot of other things with it and use it as kind of like a, uh, a sanding device. But I've been building a, a table for it, so I've got to add to that. Basically this allows me to, you know, expand the greatness of a drill press. It's one of those tools in the workshop where you don't use a ton, but when you need it, like there's nothing else that'll actually do that. I plan on using it quite a bit for doing some other wood projects and uh, yeah, I just wanted to build a nice little drill press table. What we're about to do is head up to the Guggen HQ. There's a lot of new stuff that has arrived. I want to uh, show you guys. I want to see for myself. I need to put a tackle box together for going up to fish these smallies. I really don't have anything together right now. I've got like a couple of little mushroom head jigs. Uh, a couple of drop shot wigs. I, I need to load up. Um, so Matt's gonna be up there. We're gonna get some tackle ready and we've gotta get all of our rods and reels together as well. Let's get some tackle ready and let's head up to the Great Lakes to have a great time. Uh, I promise I'm okay. Woo, let's go have a good time. From one cave to another. Here we are at Guggen HQ, y'all. Getting ready for the adventure. A lot of a lot of new stuff has just come in. I, I just heard too, manager Matt was telling me that the crankbaits are gonna be here for sale today, like within hours. We are getting ready for the adventure. I'm not gonna lie, Matt has already put things together. He's, he's beat me to the punch here. So small mouths, <laughs> they have small mouths. We all know this. They're not gonna be eating really big stuff. So what is going on here is we're going out of our element as Texans. Matt's now a Texan now. He used to be in Oklahoma, but we forgive him for that. 
Just kidding. Love you, Okies. We're going to be throwing really small stuff like drag and drops and the Ned Rig. I'll admit, Ned Rig, not my forte. <laughs> I know it's been selling like crazy and everyone loves it that uses it, but I'm excited to really just go down there and actually dangle it. What if you put together here? I mean, I put together exactly what you asked for. <laughs> <laughs> he said, give me every drag and drop we got. We got some natural. I feel like translucent colors are going to be key. Watch, we, the murky minnow is going to be the murky one. minnow. Let's go find that. There's that one's smelt. Not murky minnow. That's smelt. Here's smelt murky minnow. should be good. This is in the this is the rattling net actually. Murky minnow. These are all colors that I would occasionally use here in Texas, but are mostly a a northern situation. I mean, I think we got to give the pink dango a little a little morning golden morning. Morning Dawn, is that what it's called? Morning Dawn, I think, is the common color that of that one. It? So, I did, Smallmouth likes some funky colors, man. You know what's funny is, like, our standard Guggenbaits colors, we have, I think, uh, we have, like, seven, seven or eight colors standard. And then for our northern, like, drop shot, finesse style baits, we have, like, 20 colors. <laughs> I don't know why you guys up there need so many daggum colors. Just throw a green pump at them. There's a green pump. Give it a dangle. <laughs> like, that's all you need, right? So we have plenty of plastics, and we're putting them in, uh, putting them in our money bags. Y'all, if you've never traveled with these money bags, I use them in my luggage all the time. They're perfect. We've heard that we need to downsize <laughs> to four pound braid. Four pound braid. Four pound braid. <laughs> I don't even know if that's even made. Apparently it's a thing and they use it out there. We're gonna be using some of, these are tungsten jig heads. Uh, I'm not sure, let me know in the comments if it's even legal to use lead up on the Great Lakes. Someone mentioned that New York had a laws against it. But it I, would not I know me. California does. California does, oh, of course, we all know that. Everything you get from California says may give you terminal cancer, every fishing thing you ever get. And then we also have something new that y'all might be interested in. Um, and literally this is the perfect size for our, our trip here since we're we're using the tiniest baits ever. We have these these new ice boxes that are in, which are the really hard material that you're used to seeing from Bass Mafia. What I like about them is that the water sealed, obviously. You can uh, you can run over it with your truck if you want to, uh, or if you're just a Guggen like us, you tend to do things like that. Instead of being black, you can actually see all the way through it, so you know what's, know what's in there. So we're gonna throw some of those in there with our little, little tiny little jig heads and our, our little bitty drop shot weeds and our little bitty hooks. And we're basically going crappie fishing for giant smallmouth. <laughs> That's what I feel like. So that is what we're dealing with going up to, to the Great Lakes. Never really fished for smallmouth on the Great Lakes, but I am looking forward to it. Exciting news, y'all. The crankbaits just came in. The uh, delivery man just delivered them. So we're gonna go take a gander. These are now available for you guys. I know a lot of you've been asking. So, where are they at? Where are they at? Boom! Look at that gloriousness. We've got the cranks in. These are the flat bangers. Oh, here's some bangers. Here's some uh, grande recons. Regular bangers. We're ready. Regular recons. Ready. We got all all the species. Ready to dangle. Things are just cranking away up here. Uh, Grant's here. What's up? And uh, Grant has just brought in some special treats for the fish. It's always fun to film the fish feeding. Look at them, they know. Get right ready for it. Some of that. Oh, huh. there's a gar I didn't even know was in there. <laughs> that just caught me off guard. Caught me off guard. <laughs> right now. I didn't know we were going stashes. We can get you one, bro. All right, uh, start today. Come hunting season, just coming quick. Oh, it's going full on. We're driving right now, we're on our way to head up north. Just found out there's gonna be a lot of bugs up there. Hoping it's not like a Canadian summer bug, black fly, mosquito situation, but it could be. Did you bring a passport? I did. Okay. Are we going into Canada? I, I mean, I don't know, it's right there. Like. Might as well, eh? We got our rods all packed in the, in the tube. 
and uh, we're flying American, so it's all good. Is Buffalo where buffalo wings are yeah. invented? 100%. Yeah. 100%. So you're telling me that we could get the best wings, or the, well, no. We're going to get where they started. Where they started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new day. Look at that. A little bit of overcast, rain in the forecast. We got in last night. Met up with Starks. This is his boat and truck sitting out here right now. We went and got some wings. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, my insides are telling me that was a bad decision. I am hurting. This is gonna be an interesting day. I'm trying to uh, conquer my internal situation and go out and catch some fish. Plus we got thunderstorms happening, both above and inside. Don't act like you haven't been there. For those of you that don't know who Jeremy Starsk is, he is one of the owners of Bass Mafia, but he also is a former Elite Series angler. The true mega tur dangle. That was, that was him back in the day. He won some of the, the biggest rodeos on that Elite Series. But currently, his boat, that's a 22 foot um, bass cat, and he has a 350 horsepower motor on it. If that tells you anything about that guy. Supercharged. He, he's, it is supercharged. And he likes to go fast. Hopefully we're gonna get on some uh, some good smallies. We got a good report last night on the fishing. It's just, yeah, hopefully the waves won't be six feet tall. If we're good with the waves, we're gonna get out there and catch some fish. But I, I still have the remnants of very hot wings in my fingernails right now. Let's get a weather report from manager Matt. I'm a little worried about the situation. I heard, I just heard thunder. There's thunder. A line of showers will affect northwest. I don't even know where we're at, but somewhere up here. Uh, indicated line of heavy showers extending 10 miles north of Angle. I don't know where that is either. Um, it says Miley torrential Geary. rainfall is occurring with these showers. So, sounds like we're getting a little wet. I don't know if those Yeezys are waterproof, bro. No, man, they're good. They're golden. They're ready. To, if they're ready for all elements, <laughs> there's nothing that can hold the Yeezys back except 12 foot waves out there. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we're ready for that, but Starks, um, I already asked him and he was like, we shouldn't die, we should, we should be okay. I think he still has like the spirit of the tour in him. I don't know, I you know? <laughs> It's faded out of me. <laughs> you and Matt are like, is there an uh, uh, IHOP around here or something? Find a near Chick-fil-A. Yeah, a Chick-fil-A would be great. Let's go give it a dangle though. Hopefully these waves don't kill us. Is that donuts? God, it smells like donuts here. The windmills aren't turning. Starks saying that's that's a good thing or maybe not a good thing. It's a good thing for us. Let me show you guys something here. We just got to the ramp. First of all, we're on an ocean. Look past the Porter Johns. Those big windmills out there. They're slowly moving. That means we're not gonna die today. First time going bass fishing. On the big lake. On the big lakes. First time. He's, you can see he's nervous already. He's I'm not slick. nervous. He's Matt's nervous. scared of large uh, farm animals, but a little water, he'll, he'll be fine. I'm not worried about the Great Lakes. I probably shouldn't say that. We do have the biggest boat made on the market. Just for reference, you look back here, guys. 350 horsepower on a 22-foot boat. Good golly. I hate to do it to you, but I'm gonna leave you guys right here. We're about to start another video where we're gonna go out and film. We gotta film a couple of videos for Guggen Squad channel and for the uh, MTB channel. And we're gonna be doing some finesse tactics and learning a lot with Mr. Jeremy. Stay tuned for more outdoor greatness on the big water. I'll see you right here. We're gonna film some more videos on my channel uh, as well. So the bugs are bad. Help Matt through this. Leave a positive comment. We'll see you right back here on the big water very shortly.